Welcome back to the Castle Super Friends, and we're back with no one but you! We're back to see our beauties again! To get our freak out! No, we're not. I lied. Okay, guys, so if I'm remembering right, you, at least one of you guys, said to take a nap in school. So we're gonna... We're gonna we're gonna take a nap. If I if I am remembering this wrong, I'm gonna screw up majorly. So I'm sorry. We're gonna take a nap. Maybe I should just take a small nap. That should help. I mean, if you're getting exhausted, you're not gonna focus. You're not gonna pay attention anyway. So I mean, even if you get like five minutes in, you'd be good. Look, he even he does the same thing himself. I don't even know what I'm saying. I won't learn anything while I'm half asleep, anyways. That's true. I closed my eyes and rested on my desk. It's cold, isn't it? Where am I? This place looks familiar. Ooh, what's what's going on? What dream are we having? Ryu, Psst. hey, Hideki. Wake up, bestest buddy. Huh? Hey, leave Hideki alone. He'll never want to get up if he thinks you're waiting for him. Don't listen to him, he can. Listen only to the sound of my voice. Quietly, gently, smoothly. My voice is filling your mind. When you open your eyes, you will fall in love with the first. Dude, wake up already! What? What? Uh, what the? It's about time you got up. Can't believe you slept through the entire lesson, dad. I did. Wow, I must have been more tired than I thought. Thanks, Rio, but did you really need to wake me up like that? He's just like, he's like, dude, sh back, back off, bro. Get, you're being way too abrasive. You're touching me. You're grabbing my leg in PE class. That's fucking weird. And then you're, you're, you're calling me your bestest buddy. Nah, it's not cool, dude. These are unwanted sexual advances that you keep putting on me. And I'm not cool with this. I'm looking directly at you guys. Cause that's, that's how I feel about you. I feel like you're. You're just, you're looking at me with such want, and it's, okay, I'm done. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> well, I would have woken you up with a kiss if Megumi weren't here. You see what I'm talking about? All of this is coming together right here. Ryu's got the hots for me. That's, that's... I don't think I've ever been so relieved to have a stalker. I looked at Ryu with an expression of utter disbelief. Hey, don't look at me like that. It was just a joke, man. It's just a joke. I'm not gay, man. I'm not gay, dude. What are you thinking, bro? I mean, you look really good in shorts, but that's... Uh, what are you thinking, bro? Besides, you should be thankful that I saved you from Megumi's hypnotism. What? Hey, uh, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. I just got like a, like a, a case of the giggles really quick. <laughs> hey, do you tell him that? I was just trying to predict how Dickie's chastity from you, you pervert. I trying to make him fall in love with? Stop it. Stop it. My motives were pure, okay? Forget it. I'm going to the cafeteria. That sounds like the best thing Hideki could have done. That, that sounds like that's the best thing he could have done. After entering the cafeteria, I bought a can of iced coffee to help wake up. The second I opened the can, however, something on the roof caught my attention. That's odd. It sounds like someone's up there. But isn't the roof off limit to students? I haven't seen any construction workers or anything. Huh. My curiosity got the best of me, and before I knew it, I was heading towards the stairs. Man, these stairs are way longer than I expect. Someone as tired as me should definitely not be climbing these. Then again, maybe this will get the blood pumping and help me wake up. Okay, ten laps up and down the stairs. Let's go! Get working out! <laughs> Spread out over the next few years, of course. Oh, you, oh, Hideki, you are just, you are just a kidder. Just a kidder. Anyways, let's see what's going on up here. I grabbed the handle of the door at the top of the stairs and opened it. I wonder what, if there's another chick up here that we're going to see and have to flirt with. Okay, I'm done being weird. I'm sorry. It's like, this is a weird time for me to do videos, so I'm just like, I have a weird burst of energy. So if you guys are looking at me like I'm high on cocaine, you're about half right. It's, I'm high on life. High on life, dudes. That's the only drug you guys should do. Life. Whoa, the roof is uh, bigger than I expected. 
I looked around the roof and saw a girl sitting next to the fence. Ah, I've watched enough anime to know where this is going. Fucking pervert. Hideki's just trying to get laid, guys. I don't know if that's if that if you guys have realized this yet, but he's just trying to get some. That's all he's doing. Hey there. She's kind of cute. Huh? Are you talking to me? Either that or I'm talking to myself. That's right. Hello. On second thought, don't I know this girl? I mean, we've never spoken, but I'm certain she's in my class. You're in my class, right? I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. It's Shiro. You're Hideki, aren't you? <laughs> this is kind of awkward. You remembered my name, but I didn't remember yours, even though I'm the one who approached you. Because you're a dick, Hideki. You just don't care. You're looking at girls, you see the boobs, and you immediately... Your brain just goes to your dick, and that's all you're thinking about. It's boobies. Fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm weird today. I don't know why. Haha, <laughs> sorry. I guess it's to be expected, though, since I have a whole class full of new names to remember. You've got that right. <laughs> so what are you doing up here all alone? If you don't mind me asking. I'm just not a fan of crowded places, so I come up here. As you can see, not many people come up to the roof. That sounds lonely. How did you get up here in the first place? Shouldn't the door be locked? Well, you see... Mm. I tell you... Will you keep it to yourself? Sure. You promise this is serious? Yes, I promise. I'm trying to get like a higher pitch voice, but man, my throat, my, my voice is not doing that today. Man, this sounds extreme. The suspense is killing me. I... <clears throat> you sneaked into the janitor's room at night like a ninja and took the key! What? No! You created an invisibility potion in your lab and stole the key without anyone seeing you. He is a genius. He knows this shit is just right on perfect. Now that's ridiculous. Oh, you killed the janitor and made an exact robot clone of him who listens to all of your demands. That's some fucking genius. <laughs> Stop it. It's not like that at all. Really? Because that would explain why the janitor is so emotionless. It's just that the janitor dropped the keys, so I took them and made a copy before returning them. That's cool too, I suppose. Uh, not as cool as killing him, replacing him with a robot cyborg that would be bent on doing only what you ask. And probably quite illegal. You sure have a crazy imagination. You haven't seen anything yet. Oh, he's talking about the bedroom! Oh, I don't know where I'm going with this shit today. Shiro giggled and continued eating. The view from here is pretty nice, I must say. You can see the whole town. Yeah. Anyway, I'd like to stay longer, but I think classes are about to begin. Oh, you're right. We should get going. Sure put her food away and stood up. Are you ready to return? Yeah, let's go. We both went back inside and Sure locked the door. All right, home time at last. Time to get home and kick off the old knock around shoes. Time to eat, game, and maybe even sleep. That's my life. Hey, Hideki. Oh, Ryu, you're still here. Let's hang out. I was thinking we'd go to my place. Dude, this whole day, I think Ryu might have the hots for Hideki. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know if you think Ryu is a man who enjoys other men's company. Let me know. Uh, I don't I don't know about that. First person to invite me over to the house is a guy. This is not... This is not the fulfilling high school life I had imagined. Come on, man, we're super best friends, yet we never hang out. Ryu sounds pretty desperate. He must really want me to come over. I guess that's to be expected since I'm his only friend. Well, his only non-fictional friend. Okay, I'm in. Let's do this. Awesome. So where do you live exactly? My house isn't very far from here. It's about a 10-minute walk. Let's go. I'm right behind you. Begrudgingly, I'm right behind you, dude. Woo! This had better count towards my community service. I don't know, was that a joke or is that maybe kind of a, f like a, telling us a little backstory information now? Oh shit. Oh man. Following Ryu's lead, we both started walking down the road to Ryu's house. Ryu kept talking the whole time, but I wasn't really keeping up with him. He kept switching subjects every few minutes. This guy is pretty annoying, but at least he means well. That's true. 
Ryu's just an idiot, really. I mean, it's not even the fact that he's kind of a douche or anything like that. He's just really, really stupid. Like, he's just dumb. And I think he is... I think we're gonna understand a little bit more about Ryu and everything, like, about all the characters as we continue playing. I'm hoping character development is part of this game. That'd be great. Here we are. After a short walk, we arrived at Ryu's house. Looks like a normal house as expected. Nothing in particular stands out. Ryu doesn't look like a rich guy, so his family is probably average like mine. How dare you judge people like that, Hideki? You can't be that much of a dick to people because they're not fancy like you are. Or like other people you expect them to be. Whatever, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. After greeting Ryo's mother, the two of us headed into his room. Nice place, I like your room. It's weird to see someone with more video games than I have. <laughs> that's where all of my money goes. No kidding. Ryu sat down on his bed and I started walking around the room, checking out his stuff. You have a really interesting manga and anime collection. Super Magic Girls Trilogy? Really? Hey, don't judge it by its cover. They're pretty awesome. Sure. Forget about that. Let's play something. <coughs> oh, shit. Hope it's not a Super Magic Girls game or something. What? what? Of course not. He's blushing. He's blushing. As he said that, I caught Ryo hiding something beneath his pillow. Is it gonna be like a hentai game? So like, yeah, dude. Let's let's just let's just play this, dude. It's just a just for the story. It's great. It's fantastic. I love it for that reason only. Busted. I have the latest Indoor Fighter Six game. We could play that. Oh, I love Indoor Fighter. I think it's great how they fight in nicely furnished homes and get bonus points for not trashing the place. It's certainly much more entertaining than fighting outside, like on the street or something. Fighting out on the street? Don't be silly, that's just dangerous. Alright, pop it in, let's play. I wish this game had a point where I could, like, play that game. But it's, I mean, this is just strictly a visual novel. I will appreciate it for the fact that it is just a visual novel. Get in that mindset. Dude, you're really good at this, I didn't expect that. You're pretty good too. I let out all of my anger in these types of games, so I think it's time well spent. That's a little dangerous. That's uh, that's like, that's that's behavior you should be worried about. Anger, you don't seem like the kind of guy who gets angry. On the contrary, I actually get angry pretty easily. I see. That would explain why he doesn't have any friends. Huh, you learn something new every day. I should keep that in mind. Yeah. I punched Ryo's shoulder. What the fuck? What was that about? Hey, why did you do that? Huh, it didn't work. You don't sound angry. I wouldn't get angry over something like that, Hideki. Uh, uh, it was worth a shot. Hideki, you're a fucking dick. He's like, I want to see him get mad. He's like, he's like Iron Man with the Hulk in the Avengers. He's just trying to piss him off to see him get angry. That's fucked up, dude. That's mean. That's rude. Ryu stared blankly at me, obviously unamused by my antics. Anyway, I should start heading home now. Huh? Why? I told you, I'm not- I'm not mad at you. No, it's not that. We've been here for quite a while now, haven't we? Ryu looked at his clock. Now that you mentioned it, I guess you're right. I pulled myself up. Hey, Hideki, we should hang out like this more often. This morning, I would have rejected that idea, but now... Yeah, you're right. I actually had fun today. I'll see you later. See ya. See, Ryu, I think he just- he needed somebody who would, like, push his buttons and kind of They'd be able to just dish shit to each other. I don't feel like he's a total bad guy, but I... We haven't gotten enough character development in, this, in the game yet. So I'm hoping that we get a little bit more and we can discover that he's really got like a like issues from his past. And like Hideki reminds him of somebody, so he's like trying to get really close. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Like that'd be awesome to see. Hey, I'm back. Where have you been? The second I walked through the door, my mother emerged with a worried look on her face. I, uh, went to a friend's house. You had me really worried, Hideki. You should have told me. Ah, damn, I knew I forgot something. The whole reason Mom bought me a cell phone was to avoid moments like this. I'm, I'm sorry, Mom. But seriously, relax. You should stop worrying about me so much. But I just don't want you to get hurt. So it's about that again, huh? I know you're worried about me because of what happened when I was young, but that was an accident. That accident was a long time ago. 
I'm not a kid anymore. I can take care of myself. Yeah, I'm a man, Mom. I can fight people. I can go and talk to him, brother. I can sit there and say it's Hulkamania time, brother. I have fucking weird today. I don't know, man. I don't know, guys. I'm... <laughs> I don't want you to get all worked up like this, okay? Mom? Okay, I'll try. That's good enough for me. So what's for dinner? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't had time to make anything. It's okay, I'll just make a sandwich. Really, he's like sitting there going, God damn bitch. <laughs> Alright, honey. I'll be in my room if you need me. Okay, mom, good night. I made a sandwich and went up to my room. <sighs> I guess it's about time I went to bed. I was over at Rio's house for a surprisingly long time, and that constant in-game shouting wore me out. I guess I'll just conserve my remaining energy for the weekend. Yeah, you gotta get some sleep when it's your days off. You can chill out, just hang out and do your own thing, man. Oh, it's Saturday! Ring, ring. I wonder who's at the phone, guys. You'll have to find out on the next episode of No One But You, because I'm gonna do that again. All right, guys, but leave a comment down below letting me know what you're thinking of no one but you. Like, I know it's it's not as action-packed as most of the games I play, but I think it's a nice change of pace to just have a game where we can all sit here and just experience it together and experience, like, you know, different choices and, and be able to just experience a story together. I think that's what's really cool, and I really hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you do, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, let me know you love me. And as always, I'm King Midas, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.